Alright, you guys, this is take two for my tutorial. Some of you were asking about, about my Harry Packer and uh, editing those no delay skill thingies. Well, uh, I do use Harry Packer. It's a program that a guy made to edit WZ files for MapleStory. So we'll go ahead and open that up and we will load our skill.wz. Uh, make sure you back up your files first. Everyone says that. <laughs> uh, but if you look in here, each uh, specific class, like magician, thief, pirate, bowman, warrior, they all have a different number to them. Uh, warrior just so happens to be 100. Uh, magician is 200. Uh, bowman is 300. Thief is 400. And pirate is 500. So say you want to look at bowman which is 300, it has 310, 311, and 312, and then 320, 321, 322. These three are level 30, 70, and 120 job advancement skills, and this is 30, 70, 120 for uh, the two different classes. Uh, but you don't need to go into that. But if we open up 300, you will notice, double click it, and you will notice that there is info and skill. Just go into the skill spot open up. These are all the different skills that a bowman has from level 10 to 30. So if you click on icon, you'll see that uh, it has a picture of the skill that you use, critical, right there. And uh, whatever, range or something. This one is focus, and the action is alert 2, which you'll notice. And that makes it so you have to stop walking, use the skill, and then start walking again, which gets annoying. So, we can change the property from Alert 2 to Rapid Fire, which is uh, what you do to make a no delay skill. You could also make um, this, which is, uh, I don't know, just shoots one powerful arrow. You could also make that no delay, but the only problem with that is it won't do any actual damage in the game. It'll show it, but it won't really be going through and killing the monster mob that you're killing. So, if you want to do that to mess around with, that's fine, but uh, it's really not going to help you. It will, though, for the buffs like focus. Uh, if you were to look farther into the bowman class, you'll see 310 for hunter and 320 for crossbowman. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit to load, but if you look into here, you'll see the different skills that they have, like this one, um, yeah, there's a bunch of different ones in here. I like to change boosters a lot because I use those all the time, so uh, I'll change the property from Alert 2 to Rapid Fire. And it's also very nice to have Rapid Fire for your, uh, Big skills like a thief uh, that uses haste a lot. Um, now they don't have to complain about using their haste because it doesn't take any time to stop and use it. Here's haste. Action. Change the property. Don't do it from that box right here. You have to do it in changing property mode. Rapid fire. And also it's really nice for a thief is uh, if you've ever made a hermit, you will know that Shadow Partner is probably one of the longest skills to do, and it takes a really long time, and you might get killed while you're doing it. So change that property if you can. Rapid Fire. And uh, it'll be really nice when you're doing bosses and stuff like that. You won't have to be pausing. Uh, also, I think uh, 300 or 230, I think, might be the cleric. That's a common one because they have so many different buffs. I think this is cleric. Yeah, here's heal. You can change that one. Here's, uh, I don't remember what it's called, and bless. If you want to change bless, you can do that. But all those. Afterwards, just go up to the top, click on your skill, minimize that, and save it. You'll find your skill, there it is, save, you will replace it, you will replace it, and you'll click save, but I'm not going to because it's my clean file, but click save, 
It might lag for a minute or so just because there's so much to save, but don't worry, it will eventually come back. Alright you guys, here's a small in-game example of it. Here's my cleric, a regular heal is probably about this speed. With uh, no delay it goes super fast and you can use it while you're walking too, which is really handy dandy. <laughs> Also, I have a macro of like three things going, and so it's really easy to just use skills up all at one time. So yeah, there's a little in-game example. Thanks for watching.